Are you experiencing frequent engine overheating? Don't know what's causing it? Then this video is perfect for you. I'm going to show you exactly why and how oil cooler failure can be causing your vehicle to overheat and how you can fix it. Hi there and welcome to Car Care Hacks. Today I'm going to break down the three most common causes of oil cooler failure and their symptoms. Stay till the end where I will share how you can fix a bad oil cooler. So if you're looking for some help with engine overheating issues, then keep watching. Causes of oil cooler failure. Number one, contamination. Contamination is a common cause of oil cooler failure. This can occur when foreign materials such as dirt, debris, or even metal shavings enter the cooling system. These contaminants can clog the cooler, restricting the flow of oil and leading to overheating. Additionally, if the oil itself becomes contaminated, it can lead to the breakdown of its lubricating properties, causing increased friction and heat, which can damage the cooler. Number two, corrosion. Corrosion is another major cause of oil cooler failure. Over time, exposure to air and moisture can cause the metal components of the oil cooler to corrode or rust. This corrosion can lead to leaks in the cooler, which can cause the oil to leak out and reduce the effectiveness of the cooling system. In severe cases, the corrosion can become so extensive that it leads to complete failure of the oil cooler. Number three, mechanical damage. Mechanical damage can also lead to oil cooler failure. This can occur due to impacts from road debris, accidents, or improper installation of the cooler. If the oil cooler is damaged, it may not be able to effectively cool the oil, leading to overheating and potential engine damage. In some cases, mechanical damage can also lead to leaks in the cooler, which can further reduce its effectiveness. Symptoms of oil cooler failure. Number one, overheating. Overheating is a major symptom of oil cooler failure. When the oil cooler is not working properly, it cannot effectively reduce the temperature of the oil. This leads to increased oil temperature, which can cause the engine to overheat. Overheating can be identified by an unusually high reading on your temperature gauge or a warning light on your dashboard. Number two, reduced engine performance. Another symptom of oil cooler failure is reduced engine performance. The oil cooler plays a crucial role in maintaining the optimal operating temperature for the engine. If the cooler fails, the oil can become too hot, which can lead to increased friction and wear on the engine components. This can result in a noticeable decrease in engine power and performance. Number three, oil leakage. Oil leakage is another common symptom of oil cooler failure. Corrosion or mechanical damage can cause leaks in the oil cooler, leading to oil leakage. This can often be identified by visible oil stains or puddles underneath your vehicle. Additionally, if the oil level in your vehicle is consistently low despite regular top-ups, this could indicate a leak in the oil cooler. How to fix a bad oil cooler. To fix a bad oil cooler in a car, first, you'll need to identify the problem. If it's a leak, you'll need to locate the source of the leak. This might involve cleaning the engine area and observing where the oil drips from. Once you've found the leak, you can try to seal it with a high quality sealant. However, this is usually a temporary solution. If the oil cooler is damaged or corroded, it will likely need to be replaced. To do this, you'll first need to drain the engine oil and coolant. Then, you can remove the old oil cooler by disconnecting it from the engine block and the radiator. The oil cooler is typically located near the radiator in the front of the vehicle to take advantage of the airflow coming through the car's grill. After that, install the new oil cooler, reconnect everything, and refill the engine oil and coolant. Thank you so much for watching. Please like the video and subscribe for more.